Donna Osborne grew up in the ministry and in multiple nations. Her parents, Dr. T.L. Osborne and Dr. Daisy Washburn Osborne, traveled the world to spread the gospel, witnessing countless salvations and healings. By the time LaDonna became the president and CEO of Osborne Ministries International in 1995, she had gained experience in all of the ministry's global activities, and OMI's outreach has grown. LaDonna leads festivals of prayer and miracles and gospel training seminars in places where the ministry had never been. She founded the International Gospel Fellowship for Churches and Ministries and uses the internet to expand access to OMI's teaching tools, including the many books she has written. The Women's International Network is a tribute to LaDonna's mother, a woman ahead of her time in believing that women are also called to serve in Christian ministry. Wynn equips women to do just that. LaDonna and her husband, Corey, preside over a 45-member family that loves and supports LaDonna in all she does, including her service on ORU's Board of Trustees and hitting the road on her motorcycle. Tonight, the ORU Alumni Association is pleased to present the 2019 Alumni Award for Distinguished Service to God to Dr. LaDonna Osborne. honor to stand here and receive this award. I've lived a long time. I've been a lot of places. I've seen a lot of wonders of God. And then there are moments like this, when it seems that time stands still and we get to celebrate what God has done in just one life that's willing to obey and go into the world with the good news of Jesus Christ. As I stand before you tonight, I'm incredibly aware that God is willing to use ordinary people like us to do his great healing, redemptive, eternal work in the earth. Think about it. He takes each of our lives as simple threads, various colors, various lengths, and he weaves with those threads his beautiful tapestry that shows to the world that he has not abandoned his dream for a humanity that he can dwell among. I'm honored to be part of a legacy of evangelism beginning by my parents, and I've, but there's more than that. There is the day-to-day -day choices of following the voice of God. I love who are you because it teaches the students, hear the voice of God, think big, dream big plans, because you're connected to a big God with whom nothing is impossible. I am honored tonight that my husband, of course, he's an alpha guy from ORU. He was part of the very first uh, four-year graduating class here in, was it 1968? 1960? Yes, but when did you graduate? 69, there you go. And so I get to, I get to hear all the stories of the, the old guys and gals that, uh, that have the early memories telling their shenanigans and reflecting. My son and his wife Elizabeth, Tommy Elizabeth and Donovan, their son is here tonight. And my pastor and her husband, Dr. Cheyenne Mull Anthony, and a table full, two tables of ORU grads that are part of our ministry in our local church. I am so proud. So I'm standing here as one who's been a lot of places, as I say, and I look at this plaque and it talks about distinguished service to God. This recognizes a lifetime, but I'm praying that this service to God is a prophetic statement that will be my epitaph to my last breath and will be our lives until Jesus calls us home. Let's serve God by serving people. God bless you. <laughs> 